Coronation Street Spoilers Mary Taylor Rapist to join cast after David Platt rape ordeal Coronation Street could be about to see the arrival of another rapist, after Jude Appleton actor Patty Wallace has suggested his evil father could make his way onto the cobbles. Mary Taylor, played by Patty Clare, revealed last year how she was raped by an unknown man off-screen on Coronation Street. She then gave birth to little Jude, Patty, and kept the identity of the father a secret for years. After putting him up for adoption when he was just a baby, Mary was reunited with Jude in emotional scenes last year. But now, it seems the off-screen rapist could appear on screen. Patty hinted, maybe my dad could appear. There is a story that could be explored. A few truths are going to start to come back, he told the Daily Star. This comes just weeks after David Platt, Jack P. Shepard, was brutally raped by Josh Tucker, Ryan Clayton. The pair went out on a night out which ended in disaster for the hairdresser. Josh spiked David's drink and then carried him back to his flat where the horrific attack took place. Coronation Street boss Kate Oates has been forced to defend the controversial storyline on numerous occasions. She previously told The Sun, We decided to cover the topic OS male rape to help try and highlight the culture of silence that surrounds male sexual assault and issues surrounding male mental health in general. Survivors Manchester have been so generous with their time and knowledge, working with Jack. Ryan and the team, and I am in awe of the work they do. Over the next few weeks of Kauri, our message is to talk, it is hard to speak out, but if you re suffering in silence, there are people out there willing to listen and support you. Should another rapist appear on screen, would it attract the same controversy as Josh Tucker? Last night on Coronation Street, another villain made a shocking return. Pat Felon, Connor McIntyre, was shown to be alive, and well his wife Eileen Grimshaw, Sue Cleaver, faced jail. He appeared to be holed up in a cottage with a serious cut to his leg. With no one aware of him still being alive, what will happen to the Weatherfield residents when he no doubt gets revenge? And will Eileen be sent to prison for her husband's supposed murder?